Every year when spring rolls around, the lakes start to melt, grass starts to grow, and people start thinking about paddling and biking. The spring is also, however, one of the best times to go skiing. It's time to set aside the shorts and crocs for a few more weeks, and this year, don't even need the Rockies topo maps. Instead, we'd be heading back into winter, spurred on by tales of epically deep snow, glacier-carved peaks, and world-renowned ski touring in a land far to the west. After having done many things in the Rockies, tiptoed through the Caribous, sauntered through the Selkirks, and meandered through the Monashies, the siren song of the coast range could no longer be ignored. Skiing on the coast range would require a crack team of seasoned adventurers with laser focus on fishing. <laughs> As ever, I would be joined by the brothers Dunn, Josh, a wizard hat wearing split border who grew up both on the coast and Jasper, and Zach, a self-described caveman tans hides, makes bows, and has a very interesting sense of style. This time we will be joined by Teresa, the best skier in the group with a keen eye for descent lines, also a rescue specialist who can do a good job of keeping the Dunn bros in line. Together our crew set sail from Jasper, traveling further west into BC than I had been before, passing through scenic locales such as Prince George, Quesnel, and Williams Lake, sampling the exotic local eateries, and surveying long stretches of the open road of the BC interior. For our first foray into the coast, we will be traveling by helicopter into the realm of Nirvana Pass, smack dab in the middle of the Pantheon Range, and a short 30 kilometers from the lofty peak Mount Waddington. This trip will be different than other trips I've done. We'll be flying in and flying out, planning on 10 days of day tripping from a well-provisioned base camp. Each of us were eager to shred the snow, meet the locals, and find out if the realities of ski touring in the coast lived up to our expectations. We all went into the trip with different motivations and different expectations, but after getting dropped off, we were all in the same boat and quickly had to adjust to camp life. Between a large teepee cook shelter, electric chainsaws for firewood, and even an extra propane heater, camp was not quite as plush as a heli-skiing lodge, but close enough for us. And a far cry from some of the previous camping setups Josh, Zach, and I have used on traverse trips. Throughout the trip, I'd be asking my friends what they thought of the coast, how the skiing differed from back home, and if the luxury of base camping seemed like a cop-out compared to our usual spring traverse style.
When you think of skiing on the coast, what kind of comes to mind? When I think of skiing on the coast, I think of lots of snow and massive avalanches. Salmon flying from the sky, fog as thick as pea soup. Like long, longer storms, just tons of snow. But we got pretty lucky this time probably, I'm guessing. I don't really know what the weather's like here usually, but I'm assuming there's more snow. But then you get out here and it's just all blue skies and it's kind of a letdown. Like I'm sure it could be a lot worse. Base camping is different from ski traversing in uh, that it's not as stressful. You can just go skiing when it's good and chill out when it's not. What was your favorite ski run of this trip? I think my favorite ski run of the trip was just up behind camp over there that one day when we went and did all those yo-yo laps. That was awesome. Waddington was awesome. It was really cool to see that just because it's something I've always read about in uh, climbing magazines and stuff and it's just an area with lots of lore. So it's really kind of cool to see what it's all about. When I heard about skiing on the coast, I definitely thought of misery, lots of snowfall, wet clothing, wet, wet everything. Um, I was ready to suffer when I first came here. I think of uh, blizzards, um, rain to the mountaintops, um, extremely strong winds. Never, never think of sunshine when it comes to coast. I've really enjoyed base camping. It's been very luxurious. Um, there's few adjustments that uh, we've come up with for next base camping trip. Um, we definitely missed a uh, generator. We, uh, we should have had a deep fryer, um, but we, uh, we definitely lucked out with uh, Mr. Heater Buddy um, and our wood stove.
What I really enjoy about ski touring is just uh, getting to beautiful remote places um, with a uh, fun bunch of friends um, and uh, with the least amount of fear involved. The difference between Jasper ski touring and ski touring in the coast so far has been um, just the fact that I'm still scared as if I was in Jasper out in the coast um, and uh, that skiing is overall just really safe. You can get up to anything up here. How have you found spending 10 days with our uh, Motley crew? Um, I've really enjoyed um, the last 10 days with uh, yeah, the Dunn brothers and uh, Ben Nirenberg. Um, honestly, definitely exercised a lot of my cheek muscles and laughed a lot. Um, probably listening to some of the conversations killed um, a lot of my brain cells, um, but it was worth the entertainment. Um, I would definitely come back to the coast and do some more skiing here. Um, I would love to, I'd love to get up uh, to some of the bigger ice fields and get up the mountains. This trip was definitely a, a nice warm up to the coastal snowpack. Fa my favorite run of the trip, that's a tough one. We've had a lot of really good runs. Um, I think my favorite run was actually um, off of Mount Dastarte um, shoulder, the first day we were here. Uh, it was a really nice north aspect um, alpine run, like old man glacier turns, liked it. Kind of growing up in both Jasper and the coast, how do you find skiing differs between the two? Um, I was actually amazed how similar the eastern slope of the coastal mountains is to the western slope of the Rocky Mountains. The nature of the snowpack and the forest itself is strangely similar. I expected more differences um, having grown up on uh, Vancouver Island to some extent, but yeah, the forest type here is very much interior and so is the snowpack. It's kind of bizarrely uh, similar. The base camp setup was pretty awesome, actually. That was kind of neat. Um, yeah, it's just nice to get cozy. How do you find coziness differs between a base camp trip and more traverse type trip? Well, in a base camp trip, there is coziness. And in a traverse type trip, there is no coziness. Have you encountered any daily terror on this trip? No, there hasn't really been a lot of terror on this trip. It's been quite nice. Do you miss the terror? Yeah, I hate to say it, but I do. Yeah. I'd like to go everywhere in the coastal mountains, particularly um, the Humfanko and the Waddington areas. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you could go wrong. Pretty much anywhere you would go in the coastal mountains would be worth going. I mean, you could you could ski 
multiple seasons and just see a fraction of it. There's always room for improvement. I learned a lot. I could have skied with my cape and I didn't. That was a huge mistake. Um, wizard hat was pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Glasses could be bigger. Hard to find good glasses in the drugstore. Um, yes. <laughs> I think my favorite run of the trip so far would be Probably Juno. That was really fun. Um, yeah, it was. It was just a really nice little uh, bowl with some really good snow, really good dry snow, and then probably 600 meters of, of just beautiful fall line skiing with a little bit of a tree weasel in at the end. With to tree weasel is to see lines where nobody else does. Through the trees, of course. Well, I think breaking the no girls allowed rule has just kind of messed up all the weather patterns, stuff like that. Uh, there's been a lot of bears out here. Come to think of it, a oh, weird. <laughs> I don't know about this. Generally, when I think of the Coast Mountains, I think of looking at the mountain weather forecasts and seeing like 100 mil millimeters of precip, lots of rain going really high, and just colossal amounts of snow. Kind of unfathomable, of, uh, kind of unfathomable amounts of snow to people from the Rockies. And yeah, I was just expect a lot of weather. The, the coast is the first place to get a lot of the weather systems that we would get in Jasper and they steal a lot of our precinct. The trip we've done here is kind of a good introduction to the Coast Mountains in that we're on the front ranges of the Coast Mountains, which are eerily reminiscent of some parts of the Rocky Mountains, but you can definitely see kind of a, like behind us over here, getting into the main ranges of the coast, things start to look very different quite quickly. A lot of granite spires just rising out of large ice fields and really big terrain with more snow than I could measure with two avalanche probes tied together. So that's certainly a, a big difference and just kind of the scale of terrain and the sort of features that are possible to ski, very different. This is kind of the first like big base camp trip I've done, which it's pretty sweet actually. Uh, I've done a lot of traverse type trips before where you're always moving every day. Kind of, you always got that in the back of your mind stress, like, oh, our food cache is over the next range. We gotta, gotta keep moving to get to it. Whereas here, we're just day tripping from a sweet camp, which doesn't even really feel like camping. It just feels like we're home, just there happens to be no floors and everything covered in snow. But yeah, pretty sweet generally. It's been a, certainly a different experience from traversing. I lot, like a lot of things about ski traverses, but I could see alternating between base camps and traverses as kind of a, maybe a future direction. It's kind of been neat, camped around Nirvana Pass here. We. We didn't know it, but we're kind of on a bear migration highway, it looks like. Uh, there was one bear that woke up while we were here and sauntered right through camp. 
making its way south. And then when we came back from today's trip, there were some big bear tracks heading north, also passing right near camp. I really enjoy just capturing pictures and videos from trips and kind of just a lot for my own memory, just trying to remind myself of what we did on a trip, what we appreciated about it, and what's worth coming back for. And sharing that with people who don't, aren't lucky enough to have the same experiences. And wouldn't be able to get out here and wouldn't check it out. Trying to motivate others to just to get out and explore. In the end, it's the people that make the trip, and this was a good one.